Okay, hi guys. Um, if I sound awkward or like I'm whispering, oh, okay, wait, this is so weird. Okay, wait. Okay, now you can't hear the echo. Okay, let's try this again. Hey guys, it's Crow. Um, I'm filming my first scripted video in a couple years uh, due to having to take a step back from the internet because of certain reasons. If it looks like I'm looking off to the side, it's because I am looking at my script. Um, I don't necessarily know how comfortable I feel in front of camera yet. Um, also, I don't have a huge notable audi uh, audience but I've actually been uploading YouTube videos <laughs> since 2014, but if you look at my channel, most of them are privated or deleted for certain reasons. Um, I was mainly inspired by uh, My Little Pony and Fridays at Freddy's speed paints at age nine. Uh, currently, I am a freshman in college with an undeclared major, but I have been considering industrial design, but I also really want to animate, but if you've looked at my animations, you're probably like, okay, Crow, you're delusional because you can't animate, and yeah, okay, listen, I get it, but that's why I'm going to school, so maybe I'll double major, I don't know. Um, I wanted to add video creation and editing into my wheelhouse because all I really know how to use is iMovie. I'm pretty- I'm a beast with iMovie, but I might be editing this in Final Cut Pro because I don't know. I have it. My mom makes YouTube videos, so I have it. Um, so yeah, um, over the past couple of years, uploading my art to the internet, about since like 2020, has given me like major anxiety and I want to change that because I need to grow an audience if I want to pursue art in the future. That's just the reality of being an artist in 2020 and beyond. So this is kind of my comeback video. I don't know with college how video creation will be because, you know, I go to the gym, I'm gonna start a new job where I'm working like part-time and then my studio classes are five hours a week, which I know RISD students, they're eight hours a week, but five hours is still a lot of time. And on Thursdays, I'm supposed to have two studios stacked on each other. So making a video every week might be really hard for me. Um, that being said, let's get into the meat of the video. Um, I wanted to start a series on making different sonas and like characters because I have a huge passion for character design and maybe if I'm not lazy while I'm editing this I will put some of those up on the screen because recently I've been making like stills of a lot of my fantasy characters. Um, I will also link my toy house potentially if I'm not scared to. <laughs> um, but yeah, I used to upload speed paints here all the time. Uh, it was nothing really special. It was just like stuff with the uh, um, music behind it. Um, but I privated them all because my art, like I would come back to my channel in like spurts and my art would be dramatically changed. And I did not want people coming to my channel being like, oh, this is how they draw right now. And then they see it and it's like, that is not how they draw right now. Um, so what other way to kick off my current youtube um exploration than making myself a spider sona because i love spider-man i expected this design process to take longer than it actually did but in reality i only actually like did like three sketches the first sketch i did was one of my spider sona um which has not changed it's the um classic red and blue spider-man I often found myself drawing my spider sona with this like big JBL speaker that I have. I don't have it on me because it's in college. It was my literal child. I'd take that showering with me. I went to a boarding school. Okay. So like I'd be wearing this like giant strapped speaker just to go to the communal shower. And um, I was annoying because bros could hear it from probably like the fourth floor. I didn't care. Um, I would still say that this is like my spider sona. Um, since it's literally me, but just like in my own spider suit and it has like the sports bra and like the shorts. Um, but I wanted to delve into more like gimmicky characters. So I decided to think about like, oh, like what are my hobbies? Like, what do I like to do? So I realized I don't have a lot of hobbies because mainly all I do is um, lift and draw. <laughs> Um, but when I was like, as I was growing up, I used to figure skate. I played soccer um, in call, not in college. In um, high school, I played soccer, softball. I ran track and I ran cross country. Um, I might, I want to do rugby 
at some point because I know that there's a rugby team at my school but I'm not quite there yet um anyways this got me thinking while I was sketching out my ice spider uh, man I really get injured a lot which is where my final idea stuck so to preface when I say get injured a lot I mean I get injured a lot um I've dislocated my elbow by raising my hand too fast I broke my finger by slamming it in a door in fourth grade I was running in flip-flops and I tripped and the next day I decided I'm gonna go to soccer practice and um my foot was so swollen and my mom didn't believe me so I had to walk on it for three days <laughs> before she was like okay you've been limping around the garage for three days it's time to take you to the doctor um I've sprained my MCL. I still don't know how that happened. I'm gonna say it was getting out of a chair, but I think it was like an overuse thing and my knees still hurt like all the time. Um, I've broke, like, so I think I broke two of my toes this summer. They were really bad. I'm not gonna insert photos, but like you can't really go to the doctor for a broken toe. Um, but one of them I like was walking. So this is my bed frame. Sorry, the camera's backwards. This is my bed frame, and I like went like this, and this like middle toe like bent sideways. And the other one, I just hit it really hard into the coffee table, and like it was so bruised that like the pressure from my shoe was hurting my feet. Um, and then currently, I'm recovering from like a back injury. <laughs> I think it was like an overuse injury from cross country. I don't want to get into the whole results of my MRI, but yeah, it, my back hurts like all the time, constantly. <laughs> So, um, besides me getting injured, I'm kind of treating the spider Sona as a secondary one uh, to the one that's literally just me in the Spider-Man costume. Um, I'm also treating this as a way for you guys to get to know me. I have a tendency to overshare, so if I decide to stay consistent with YouTube, you're going to know the ins and outs of my life. Um, but I'm getting a job, so I don't know how... And this is my mom's microphone, so I'm going to have to save up for a new one. Um, anyways down to my design decisions i usually hate the gimmick of just slapping clothes on a spider like a hood or sweatpants because i always felt like it it's what made spider gwen unique you know having the hood and the converse um she didn't just have like a spider suit like everyone else but then like when we watched the new spider-man i felt like there was like a ton of room to create these really interesting suits so um, upon further evaluation, I decided that adding clothing is just more fun because I like drawing clothes. So um, I gave my Spider-Man like a tactical vest to put stuff in. Um, it felt like it was like practical because I decided to base them off of a crash test dummy um, and like deserts. So like think like, you know, Area 51. <laughs> um, except I didn't make them neon yellow. I made them like sand toned. Um, I wanted to do an element where I designed the spider itself, but I felt like it would make the video too long, so maybe in the future I'll make a part two where I design like the person under the suit, or I don't. Um, anyways, back to more design choices. I added these like hinge joints on the elbows and the knees that assist as crash pads. Um, my headcan is that it reduces certain like joint impact pain like if they're hitting a wall too hard like their knees will absorb it a little um, I don't know. I, I'm not a stem major. I don't understand that stuff um, I also decorated them in band-aids and stickers to show like they get like injured a lot like my knees are super scarred up um, I literally have like scars all over my ankle too because I've got myself shaving so many times um yeah, I also gave them these like square looking headphones and at first when I was writing the information on the ref sheet, which you'll probably see, um, I was gonna give them like ultra sensitive hearing and then uh, that's why they wear headphones to like block out like the sensory, like it, it, it's a lot. Um, however, since they're based on test dummies, I decided to go with them um, having poorer hearing and I think I wrote like close to death on their sheet. Um, but I think they have some form of like deafness. I don't know how good their hearing is. Um, I think this is my favorite design element though. Um, I decided that like it's gonna be able to pick up like radio signals and like people from like their team maybe can communicate with them. Maybe like their college roommate can like communicate with them. Cause I feel like there's always something with a friend or a roommate that's like a super popular Spider-Man trope. Um, 
And lastly, the drumsticks. I'm gonna be so real with you guys. I don't know why I originally added drumsticks. Actually, that's a lie. I do know why. Um, it's because I thought about naming them Crash before I realized this is a spider Sona and they should be named like, you know, Spider-Man and then have their Spider-Verse nickname. Um, so I was like, oh, I think they do like music because a lot of deaf people do like, you know, like rock and like very like um, loud music. So I feel like they might drum in their free time. But that's about all the notes I have on their design. And I'm sorry I've talked so fast, but I, I don't know. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it's not too short or too long. I'm still trying to figure out exactly what length I feel comfortable with. And I hope that people that have come to my channel because of this comment, I promise the video is coming shortly. So stay tuned.